if you want to do a multicam project with Final Cut, first you will need your files, your video files from multiple camera. The one that I will use today are this one from this one. Very important things, name them and try to put a number or something so they start all the same way. This is the video nine of a series, so this will be fine for me. Then I said that's the English version. And then I name the camera so I can easily identify them. So I'm going to take those four shots and I'm going to set them on the project over here. Then you will classify your uh, box over here with that button here so they can be in list and that will be easier to find. They are just right here. You see nine E N E N E N E N with my camera. So I'm going to select the first one here, hit the shift button and select the last one to select the four of them. Then you will right click into that selection and you will select new multicam clip. Select this, give it a name. So this will be the nine multicam EN and then I hit OK and then uh, that was fast but Final Cut just synchronized all of those shots. Uh, it, it used the audio to do it. If you have no audio that will be more complicated but if you have audio that's easy as that. Then you can delete your files on the timeline and just pick your multicam project that is now here. That icon means that it's a multicam. Uh, clip. So you drag it on your timeline. Actually, I'm just going to set that on mute. So we have no audio. If it's black, it's because there on that project, there is some camera that I start a bit later. Uh, but if we go over here, I have one of my camera. Now, if I want to switch it, I'm going to go on to view and angles that can also uh, be used with that shortcut. Then so like that and over here you will see actually I have four cameras so I can see my four camera. You can go into settings and select different quantity of uh, angles. Actually my computer is working very hard it's because it is transcoding all of those four images because it needs to play them at the very same time depending on the speed of your computer that might be more complicated. Uh, I encourage you maybe to wait for it to be done. But for the example just right now, well, yes, I'm going to wait. All right. So now that this is done, we should be able to read it uh, very easily with no lag or anything just as we see right now. OK, so now that is that is done. We can use the uh, touch on the, on the keypad. You can use the one, the two, the three, the four, just like that to do a live edit. And if I zoom on my timeline over here, you can see that it create cuts while while I play. So if I play it here and I switch to camera number one, I do have a cut and it switch just like that. Over here, you can see with the color, the uh, yellow rectangle that this is the shot that we use actually for video and audio as we can see with that logo. But uh, when I do switch of camera, I want to keep the audio recorded on the camera number three because I had a clip mic that is connected inside the camera number three. So I always want to keep that audio. And for this, there is those three button on top. When you select this, it, the, the keypad will change video and audio. When you select this one, it will only change the video. And when you select this one, it will only change the audio. So once my selection is made and I selected both uh, the, the number, the camera number three. Now, if I do switch with that selection, it will only change the video. So if I hit one. Now I can see that I have in green my audio and in blue my video. So if I play like that, keep going, I will even if I change to other camera, I will always have that green rectangle over my camera number three. And if I go back on video, it will be yellow because yellow is for both. And I can keep changing just like that. 
if for some reason I want to use uh, the audio from another one, I can select it and make a switch just like that. And this can also switch from one to another. When you do your cut, it does those cut like that over here. If you want to change the selection, you can go on a clip, use the upper arrow to go at the beginning. And uh, I want to change the video. So select that one, change the camera just by hitting one, two, three or four. And actually, this is four because that's the number of angle that I chose, but I can go up to 16 that way. Let's keep it at four. Then if you want to adjust that, you can slide just like that. And if you want to cut apart, like for example, this one is a silence. If I want to remove it, I can click over here and use common B for blade and delete that part. All of your video are inside. So if you double click on it, you will see all of your uh, video file one by one. And if you want to readjust it, you can take it and move it if the synchronization wasn't good. That's what I told at the beginning. Final Cut do uh, sync with the audio, but if you don't have audio, your file will probably be inside and you will be able to uh, move it to the place you want. So this is how you do a Final Cut multicam project.